Hi, my name is Chandrika Chandran. I'm a mixed media artist. Uh, we're right now at my solo show at uh, Karnataka Chitrakala Parishad. Um, I've got about 20 paintings here, um, all different series, different types of paintings. Um, I've been painting for more than 15 years uh, on and off, and I don't have any formal education in art, but I am self-taught. Um, but I think life has given me uh, enough training in different, different ways and that has, you know, come into my art. Um, I'm, I'm inspired by everything around me. Uh, I'm inspired by people, photographs. Uh, I invest very heavily, heavily in dreams. And um, yeah, so all of that tends to show up in my work in vibrant colors and different forms. And uh, I think I would classify my work somewhere between abstract and um, having form because I like to think of art as not an, not a very specific thing like not a sentence written out in front of you rather a conversation where I begin the conversation and you as the viewer uh, end it so I love to see people interact with my art and see what they have to say about it and it uh, it brings me a lot of joy to be able to see that so please do come down I'm here from uh, I'm here till the 14th uh, we started on the 8th and I'll be here all day so from 10.30 in the morning till 7 in the evening, if anyone is interested in coming and checking out some interesting art, um, I'd love to meet you. So please do come down. Uh, I'll be here till the 4th. Uh, so this piece is called Walk With Me. Uh, it's on canvas and it's a mixed media piece. It's got um, acrylic paint, oil paint and gold foil. And that gold foil is what kind of gives it that you know, the pop when you walk by and the light catches it. Um, it is uh, a moment. Uh, that's how, it's not specific to me. To me, this might be a moment that pertains to my mother and father, but to you, it may be something else. It may be somebody else, and that's what I want for you, you know, for you to be able to see this painting and recognize in it somebody that you know. Um, then this painting, again, in sort of a series along with the other one, these three paintings over here are a collection of moments that for me, they might be somebody that I know, but for you, it might be someone you know, and that's what I want. So this is called the Tripping Dunes. It's uh, two children playing with kites uh, on sand dunes. And this, is, this has a lot of texture in it. And um, it's pretty 3D if you can see all the details. You can almost touch the little pieces of sand where their legs have gone in, their feet have gone in. You know, it makes little holes and things like this. So there's a lot of texture in this painting. And um, yeah, I want that like moment of childhood just frozen in time, you know. These two are very close to each other. This is almost like a dawn and this is almost like a dusk. Again, two boys playing with a kite in silhouette. This is, I wanted this to have almost a watercolor effect, almost like when you try to remember childhood, it has a very like hazy, you know, uh, unfinished kind of effect. And that's the kind of look I was going for um, here with a lot of nostalgia. These two paintings are um, kind of like a, you know, landscape series, if you may. Again, with like a daylight and a nighttime. This one is called That Day in Kasoli. It has, it sort of looks like the um, hill stations and things like that. And you know, we all have those moments and memories of hill stations, that nostalgia. And this is called Moonrise. Uh, it's the moon rising above the ocean. and. Um, we have a little bit of like, you know, bioluminescence as well happening with the waves. And this is a piece that it, it just, I mean, I'm, I'm biased, but it definitely looks great in a big space. And, you know, a lot of people have been coming up to me in this exhibition and saying that this piece is their favorite, you know. Uh, from here onwards to that corner over there, I'll show you, is a series. Um, every line is a poem. And uh, so it's basically each painting is a line of a poem. Uh, it is a complete story by itself, but when put together also uh, makes a story. This one is called Come Sit With Me. This has a lot of texture and this has acrylic and it's also got embroidery here with real wool, which is stitched over here. So then you've got little pieces of um, texture as well, which you can touch in uh, the form of like mountains. This one is called uh, And Weave Me A Story. It is also, again, mixed media. It has uh, embroidery, it has wool thread throughout the thing. Um, it's got a little bit of, you know, hyper-realistic form and also, you know, a, um, abstract, just wash of colors, brightness. This here is called as night trips through the window into dawn. And it's meant to be the moment when night becomes day. 
and if this is your window, how night comes into your window and then leaves this day. Uh, and just as a, a extra bit, this is my mother's hand holding a twig, so <laughs> that was my inspiration here. This one is one of my favorites. It's called Tell Me of the Raucous Birth of Oceans. And I kind of, I started with it um, with like an amniotic sac. That was the idea to start with. And it was about how an ocean is born. So it has elements of aquatic life, aquatic vegetation, and just a wash of blues. And it brings a lot of like cooling, you know, sort of vibes into whatever space you put it into. This one is a little more, you know, um, heavy and grey and it's called Off the Day Hope Unfurled Its Gauzy Wings. Um, this is a little bit about how humankind has had an effect on the world, on nature and, and it's not always been a good effect, you know. So that is the uh, starting point of this conversation here. Uh, this one is called Against the Rumble of the Earth Shaking Her Many Skirts and it's, if you will, a uh, like a cross-section of the earth and all her many layers just opened up and peeled up and it's almost like this is the core of the earth and here are all the other layers of the earth under it and that being the sun over there. This is called and the dance of the heavens clasping the night skies. It, for me, this is the moment when the night sky is born in, in the whole act of creation. This was the moment when the heavens and the night skies entwined together and, you know, birthed something new. So that's why I have in this sort of like imagery of things coming together and an image of creation. So that is this. Um, this wall over here, all of these three are sort of my, uh, you know, take on portraits. This one is, a, it's called In the Garden of, it's of the Aftermath. And it's about a couple, any couple. It can be a couple you know, it can be you and your partner. And sometimes, you know, you reach a moment as a couple where you need a moment to just breathe, to be in a space and to just breathe. And this is that moment of breathing. And this here is called Celestial St Slumber. Um, and it's just a very, like, as, as it says, celestial kind of a woman having a moment of peace, you know, in a very chaotic, hectic world. And this one is called Between Faces, it's one of my favorites. Um, and it was painted at a time when I felt uh, a lot of loss in identity and I was trying to wonder where I am and who I am and this was born from that sort of confusion where we as people, we tend to put on many faces. So this was something that you know came out of that. This last um, corner here are all three Ganeshas. They're actually some of my oldest pieces and they were already in, so I have exhibited these pieces in Singapore as well for a Ganesha-centric um, exhibition. Uh, so they are called the Scribe and that one in the corner is called Of All Beginnings and this one is, let's go behind you. This one here is called Oh To Be God Of Sea And Sky. And pretty, I mean, self-explanatory, they are three Ganeshas, but they have a lot of detail in them, a lot of texture in them. If you come close to it, you'll be able to see a lot of, you know, different um, uh, types of texture in it. That one back there has newspaper uh, from the day that it was painted. Um, it's a Singaporean newspaper that I used to, you know, put into that. So, yeah, these are my paintings. Um, I also have... Um, um, digital art that I've put up here on a slideshow and all of this work is on my website it's www.studiotukun.com so whenever you guys have time please take a look and um, yeah tell me what you all think